guys, this is Amyne33 and welcome to another episode of Amy in Salem. How is everyone doing out there in YouTube land? Are you all having a good day? I hope you are. Let's go and say hello to Salem. Let's see if we can spot where she is. Salem, where are you, Sister Goose? My Sister Goose, where is she? River, do you want to come with me? Where is River? Where is everybody? It's like everyone's gone missing. There you are. There's River. Right, River, let's go on down and take the shortcut and go see Sister Salem. She's being a little bit quiet. I wonder what she's up to. Sister Salem! Sister Salem! Oh, there you are, Sister Salem! Oh, you know what? You have never looked more beautiful in your entire life. I love what you've done with your hair. And, you know, the bracelets, they're just like, wow. And you're even holding a raw fish. <laughs> okay, so Salem isn't actually with us today. Unfortunately, her little girl got a little bit sick, so she's unable to record. So it's just me. I'm all alone! But you know what? I wonder if anyone can actually tell the difference. Like, if I send this, like, picture out to Twitter, do you reckon anyone will be like, Amy, why are you standing next to that? It's Salem! It really, truly is. But this does mean I am all alone. With her, I'm gonna jump on her bed. Wee! Wee! Loves it! <laughs> I feel like I'm a naughty, naughty girl. Uh, today, because I'm all alone, I thought it'd be really nice to go and say hello to Jiminy Bob and his wife Doris because you know what I haven't visited them in a while so I baked them a cake and I thought we'd go over there and have like a, a nice little tea party or something what do you say River do you think that's pretty cool you look hungry River do I have any food for you I do I have some food for you have some food there you go oh you're the cutest little thing there we go he loves it should we feed actually you sit down let's go feed Salem's babies just in case she won't be here for a little while there we go, have some food, loves it, have some food, awesome. You've eaten all the doggy food, you crazy goose. Okay, so I'm thinking what do we need to have a little tea party over there. I hope they're there, because if not, I'm just going to go over there. And it's going to be like I'm all alone. Like, literally, maybe there'll be an apocalypse, who knows. Uh, let me just see if I need anything. I've got some, like, stairs and wood. I think that's it, I think that's it. Let's go over there. Let's go over there, river, and see how Jimmy, Bob, and Doris are doing. You know what? They could even be on their honeymoon. They didn't get married too long ago. Who knows what they're up to? Maybe they're making babies! Maybe they'll be a baby villager! I still haven't seen a baby villager. I'd really like to see one. I bet they're just as cute. Not like the, you know, the zombie child? You know, I don't like the zombie child. They scare the bejeebas out of me. I hope they're not like that. But anyway, I am. I have arrived at the village, so we're just waiting for... Ouchie! We're just waiting for Jiminy Bob. Where is he? Oh, Jiminy Bob! Mr. Bob, how do you do, sir? Jiminy, hello, how are you? I brought cake. I thought it'd be really cool if me, you and Doris sat down and had a nice cake together. Yeah, he nodded. He nodded, ladies and gentlemen. I think he thinks that's a good idea. So we need to find Doris. Where is Doris? You know what the hard thing is? It's going to, like, to be getting you both in a room and, like, keeping you there. Because I know they like to just walk off and stuff. Um, Doris! Doris, where are you, Doris? Doris, hmm, where the hecky peck is Doris? Oh, look, this is our old stable. Like when we like ride here on Tinkerbell, we put the ponies in there. Um, I cannot see Doris anywhere. You know, this is a bit of an issue. <gasps> Wait, why is Doris not with Jiminy Bob? I hope nothing's happened. Right, okay. No. Hmm. Hmm, I'm starting to sound a lot like Mr. Jiminy Bob. Let's see. Okay. I think we may need to ask Jiminy Bob. Jiminy Bob! Where are you, Jiminy Bob? Where have you gone? You all go missing! You villagers are like gooses. You're just so slippery. You're just like, one minute you're there, and then one minute you just run off like a goose. Um, It's kind of, maybe they're playing hide and seek. That is like, you know, they are like the world's best hide and seekers. I mean, come on. Where are you? There you are, Jiminy Bob. Where the heck is Doris? <gasps> Doris run away with the milkman? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so very sorry you weren't married that long. That's just terrible news. I'm so... Oh, I know. I'm so very sorry. Well, you know what? I did bake a cake for you. Yeah, a nice cake. Maybe we can, like, eat it outside. Um, If we just, like... We can put this down here. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Look, I've got a nice cake for you. Um... There we go, we can have like an outside tea party. And then like I can I can sit on this seat and you like to stand. So just eat some cake. Nom nom, have some cake. That's it, yeah! 
<laughs> oh, I think River wants some cake as well. River, this is this is Jimmy Bob's sad cake. I'm so very sorry Doris ran away with the milkman. I really am. But you know what? There's plenty of villagers in the sea. What about Trudy? Do you remember Trudy? She looked after my animals while I was away. Maybe like maybe Trudy could be a new love. Maybe we'll have to find Trudy. But Jimmy Bob, you seem a little bit sad, sweetie. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you here with the cake. And I do hope you feel a bit better soon. Here's a lovely jubbly. I know they always like cheer you up and stuff. Have some lovely jubblies. And sending you lots of love, Jimmy Bob. I really do hope... <laughs> look at his head. <laughs> I really do hope you feel a little bit better soon. Enjoy the cake. It's it's made special. He's kind. He, he's looking at me in a very strange way. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit concerned. But yeah. Um. Go find Trudy. I'm sure. I'm sure Trudy could use some like village of time <laughs> so river where have you gone you're with me okay well that didn't go to plan so i think instead what we're gonna do we're gonna go mining and i know what you're thinking guys amy lee mining is never a good idea and it really isn't it's an awful idea but i need to do it it's part of the minecraft life i need to mine for a lot more iron and coal because we keep running out of supplies so that is what i'm gonna do today um, I'm just a little bit shocked that Doris ran away. They were such an adorable couple. What the heck happened? If I see that Doris, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give her like a bad face, an Amy, Amy bad face. Bad Doris, how rude. Oh, that was that was clever. Okay, uh, what do I need? I need my little pickaxe. Where is it? Um, actually, I've got a little bit of iron on me so I can make like a pickaxe. All right, okay, okay. We are, we have got a bit of iron. Come on, River, come on, you goose. Let's make a pickaxe and get down there. I am scared. Without Salem, I'm all alone in charge. It's really, really, it's bad. She's going to come back and, like, her house will probably be set on fire and, like, stuff will happen. Maybe I could do something funny to her house. What could I do? I could, like, I could, I could do something naughty. What could I do? Just for funsies, just for funsies. You know what? She doesn't like the colour pink, but I've got no pink wool. Otherwise, I'd, like put pink carpet everywhere um maybe i could build i could build a big love heart out of cobblestone <laughs> she's not as girly and cutesy as me she's more of a tough cat so i might just build a nice big heart in her bedroom hello kitty cat she'll love it she will she will be like oh my god amy that's like the greatest gift in the world or maybe i could do it like on top of her like roof and that way she won't know until she actually goes up there Let's do that. Okay, right. And then we'll go mining. Then we'll go mining. River, are you up here? I want you to be careful, so I'm gonna make you sit down. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do it like about here. Right. So building hearts can get a bit difficult because sometimes I get like really perfectionist about it, and I'm like, it has to be this way, it has to be that way. So and I die a lot because you know it's it's not the easiest work in the world to do. I know they're like still beautiful and stuff, but they are quite difficult. So this bit might take a while, so I apologise. I won't do a huge one. I'll just do like a medium sized heart. Maybe, maybe just a small heart. Who knows? We'll see where we go. Here we go, okay. Looking good so far. Right, take that away. Loves it, okay. She's going to be like, Amy, what the hell is that on my roof? And I'll be like, it's love. It's love for you. From me to you. Special love. Amy, love. Right, let's jump up here. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. There we go. And jumpy over here. Awesomeness. And then, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> She's going to hate this. Uh, let's take away this little corner here. And she was probably like a, a so, you know, so far as, you know, not a bad shape. Not a bad shape. Okay, let's just do one like that. Whee! One like that. And then I'm going to go like this. I know it's not making much sense to you guys. You're like Amy. This doesn't look very good, but I know what I'm doing. Remember, I'm like, I'm the love keeper. I know how to do hearts. <laughs> usually, usually. Right, okay, and then it's going to go like this. Um, and then I want to go up like that. Wee! And take this rubbish away like that. Oh, no, okay, okay. I'm getting a bit carried away. I'm like, I know what I'm doing, and then I just, like, go wrong, but it's okay. There we go. Right, now take that away. See, this whole episode is just going to be me building, like, a massive cobblestone heart. It's a little bit crazy. And then we want to take this out. Like that. And then... This will join in the middle. And then... Like that. Okay. So, very, very, very simple heart. And she's going to hate it. It's going to be great. I could fill it with dirt or something. <laughs> I would fill it all pink and cutesy, but I have no pink wool. We need to dye some sheep. Um, so, anyway. Let's go on down to the mines. 
and see what we can find down there. Riffa, I'm going to keep you at home, sweetie, because you know how many times I die down there. Could you imagine if I took my doggy down there? It'd just be hell. So let's just put you away. Come on, little river doggy. Let's get you away. Come on, river. Three, two, one. Oh man, I really thought that was going to happen. I thought it was just going to appear. <laughs> or did you? Are you behind me? Are you being a ghost dog? Where the heck is he? Riffa, come on, you goose. Quick, it's going night time. I don't know where he's gone. Is he like chilling out outside? Come on! Seriously, you take your time, boy. Come on! River, come on, there's googlies. There's googlies afoot. Googlies are coming. Just come on. Get your little tushy in. River. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to sleep. Nighty night, nighty night, everybody. Sleepy tight. You know, it's quite scary at night time without Salem around. It is quite terrifying. River, why are you not TPing to me? You are being a naughty goose. I'm not taking you down the mines. I know you think I need protection and you know, I'm really grateful for that But sweetie, I, I have to try and look after myself. I can't be protected all my life All right, so you I'm not sure where he is, but we'll find him <laughs> He's just I think he's like he's secretly following me or something. There he is. Look, I know he is He won't let me go down there alone River, please. I can't have anything happen to you, darling. I know you're being protective, but just please sit down, okay? I promise I'm not going to die this time. I'll be okay. It's all right. I promise. We'll, we'll, I'll be fine. She says. I, I, I'll be fine. I'll prove to everybody out there I don't need protecting. I am a big, strong girl. I can do this. Anything there? No. Okay. <gasps> Scary noises already. Okay, let's just go on down here. <gasps> I hear bats! I always feel happy when I hear the bats. Right, okay. Ah, oh, Skelly already. All right, let's kill him. Ah, got you, got you. Loves it, loves it, loves it. I can see the bats, you know, they're the cutest little things. Apparently there's a mod you can get where you can like get pet bats. I see a creepy down there. Back away, sir, back away. <gasps> ah, ah. Um, so I really want to like download that mod. In fact, if any of you guys watching know what mod that is, please let me know. Look at this creeper, man. Look, he is hungry. He is hungry for the Amy killing. What are you up to, creepy? Right, he's gonna, he's gonna blow, he's gonna blow. Where'd he go? Go away, sir! Oh, I killed one! That is really impressive for me. In fact, I need to make some torches. Am I safe to make torches? <gasps> I'm a little bit safe. Okay, let's do it. Real quick. Quicker than that, Amy. Come on, come on, you geese. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, right. Eight torches. Don't have to like a bells. Right, let's put some torches around here. Loves it. Okay. Uh, I saw there was a mine shaft up there. I was getting a little bit excited. Right, okay. So basically, we still need to gather a hell of a lot more supplies if we are going to ever face the nether properly. If you saw the last episode, you could see how badly that went. The Salem being a little goose and like hitting all the pigment thingies. They all came towards us. We've got a lot of preparation to do before we tackle that for real. So it's my job to collect as much iron as we can for armour and diamonds as well and emeralds and anything else we need to like gear up and get loads of stuff done. So that's what I gotta do, but I'm probably the worst one to do it. In fact, even though it sounds rude, it should be Salem doing all the cave stuff because she's braver and stronger than me. I should just be like up there making cakes or something. Right, okay. So far so good. Although I can't remember the way, what way did I, I come out? Up there, okay, follow the lights. Oh look, I'm in the ravine. I didn't know I was in a ravine. Let's go check out the ravine. I wonder if it's pretty. I can hear googlies. Actually, wait. Am I safe? I'm safe. I need my bow and arrow. I always feel safe with my chesty bow and arrow. Okay. It's like we have the power of Katniss Everdeen. I love the Hunger Games. Hunger Games is amazing. Cannot wait for the new movie. Oh, there's gold! Gold is pretty. Let's get that gold as well. Uh, okay. I always get confused. Like, I know gold armour is, you know, really sucky. Is it above, like, chain armour or below chain armour? I know technically it's above, but... You know, like when you are playing Hunger Games and stuff, like it's really, it's rubbish armor, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Right, okay, okay. Do it, do it, kill him, kill him, kill him. Ah, run, 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 run. Oh, darn it, that was a powerful ghoulie. Right, okay. We're okay. I, I, I need to eat my jacket potato, though. Right, let me have my jacket potato. Be careful, Amy, you are near loads of lava. Right, okay. I feel, I just want to check out this ravine and then I'm going to go back up because I'm quite happy with the little bit of iron I've got. Um, where was it? It was up there, wasn't it? Okay, so let me just grab some of the cobblestone. Okay. And then I'm going to like pill it up. One, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, right, so which was the way? 
there's the ravine over there so the way out was um i see torches torches okay i think the way out was up here somewhere wasn't it but there is also another way out i know what i'm talking about it's okay as long as i know it's okay uh up there okay so that's the way out so the ravine is here and i can see the bat fly how cute does that look it looks impressive a little bit of iron here just grab that awesomeness right let's jump on up okay it's a cute ravine hello little bat hi they are the cutest little thing aren't they i really do want them as pets it'll be amazing can you do like they fly around until they follow you what happens i need to like find this bat mod it'll be amazing so if any of you have done it let me know how adorable it is and maybe i'll download it and put it in an episode and have pet bats um okay so the ravine doesn't look like it has a mine shaft or anything on it so that's okay uh, let's go on back up and let you know river must be worried sick by now so let's just go and let him know that i'm okay and for once i didn't die i came close i came close but for once i didn't die uh, so the way up was was it this one up here okay we're doing good surely you guys watching must be pretty proud for me i done amazing right awesome <gasps> oh i'm scared no, I'm not scared. I'm brave. Aim me the brave again. Aim me the brave. Aim me the brave. Aim me the brave. I'm going to kick your tushies. Go, go, go. Come on, Amy. You can do this. Come on. You need, like, a story to tell Sailor when she comes back. I could be like, guess what, man? I took out, like, 30 zombies. I was on fire. That's what I need to do. <laughs> In fact, everyone watching, you need to pretend that you saw something magical and be like, yeah, man, she can so look after herself. She is so brave. I'm such a goose. It's amazing. All right, let's get on out of here. Okay, awesome everything's good right river it's okay i'm alive river nothing happened darling i'm here it's okay never fear amy is here she's alive and guess what river i took out like 30 zombies <laughs> i was so brave you'll be so proud of me it's amazing <laughs> loves it there we are river hello darling oh i can see how worried you are my little sweetness thank you for worrying but i'm good i'm all fine i'm quite proud of myself you know sometimes a girl needs to be left alone to prove to the world that she's quite capable Right, so, are you happy to see them? Are you impressed? I'm going to end the episode here, guys. It's been a lot of fun. I'm hoping next week that my sister will be back with us and she can... Look! What's in my feet? <laughs> I've been shot, Salem. My beautiful boots. My wonderful boots have been shot. It's awful. But yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed the um, episode, guys. and get them carried away again. Tune in for next week. Hopefully, Salem will be back with us and I think we're going to keep her little, like her little clone here because i love her she doesn't talk so i love her <laughs> yeah guys remember that amy loves you thank you for watching bye